are you doing here, Bonzo? Picking somebody's order. Picking orders, yep. baby. We gotta get a vest, small vest. We gotta catch up on orders. We all came down, that's what we're here yep. doing. We are picking yep. some orders. Now we I gotta, gotta give it to Andrew, and he's gonna ship it. Gotcha. Look, this is what we're doing today. You getting right. after Ooh. it? Yeah, I'm getting caught up. You boys. guys are getting after it out here. I've been in the office editing and uploading. Tune in calls. Yeah, tune in calls. I think I went through about 400 of them. Yep. Oh, get it, son. Yes. Old Flair yeah, Daddy. It's been stuff. a while since Old Flair Daddy's been on the channel. You know what someone actually commented the other day? What they comment? They said, are you and Flair friends anymore? Because they haven't seen you forever, dude. I'm back. Yeah, he's and back. I'm here. He didn't, packaging He back. didn't say that you guys are friends. He ignored the question. <laughs> he goes, I'm back. <laughs> uh, yeah, about that. Oh, yeah, I'm back. <laughs> What up y'all and welcome back to another one. Look at this, it is Halloween day and we got snow on the ground y'all. It is cold, isn't it? Oh, Frederick, he's going, Dad, for one, I'm hungry, but for two, what is this white stuff on the ground? What is it, Frederick, huh? Boy, howdy, the first dusting has appeared and I'm telling you what, the other thing that's appeared is a bunch of birds. We've got a lot of lessers in, we got a lot of honkers in, we got a lot more ducks in, and today I actually seen the first flock of snow geese in the area. Is that not insane? But with the cold brings ice. And uh, I went scouting today. And one thing I figured out is we have an abundance of birds, but they're not using the sheet water, the little bodies of water that I've been hyping up and saying that I want to hunt all season. They're not using it because it's got about an inch layer of ice on it already. So the plan is to take care of that. We might hit two different spots today and break them open. It's supposed to get pretty warm today, but I wanna make sure this water is open while we're getting these new birds because there is an absolute abundance of birds moving into the area. The migration is underway, y'all. Kansas is getting a bunch. Texas already has speckle belly feeds that I've seen. It is crazy, it's cranking up. So, but first off with the cold, I gotta tell y'all, I am wearing nothing but all of the ducks thermal gear and it's nice. Check out that new patch beanie isn't that a fresh little beanie oh and then we got the vest and underneath that we got the ducks thermal hoodie and then under my pants i got them ducks thermals under there too but today is halloween we are running a two-day halloween sale 15 percent off everything on the website so if you want to pick up a vest a hat any of the thermal gear any hats it doesn't matter if it's a camo hoodie everything is 15 percent off on the website today and tomorrow Oh, but check out what we got here. I finally got an ice eater. Big shout out to Ice Ripper for hooking it up. These units are sweet. I've always wanted an ice eater. Finally got one. We're gonna put it to the test today. We're gonna see how it works. Gonna try to bust open some of this water. I'm sure by the end of the day, there would be some open holes on these little bodies of sheet water, but I wanna make sure they're open. Like I said, we got all these new birds coming in. I wanna give them a nice little place to sit so I can go hunt them. <laughs> but this little unit here with the generator, it is gonna allow me to keep a lot more of that sheet water open all season long because it being only Halloween, we got a few months to go of really bitter cold weather. So. Let's get on the road. Buddy, are you hungry? Need some food, huh? There you go, buddy, come on. He says, thanks, Dad, I've been waiting to eat. <laughs> oh, Freddy, he's been such a good boy. I'm really enjoying how you guys are enjoying Fred on these little duck hunts. I'm really liking the small hunts this season. I told you at the beginning, I'm not gonna do as many big, big grand hunts, but try to keep it personal. Maybe solo hunts, two, three man, four man hunts. We'll have some of the eight man, 10 man hunts, don't you worry. And on those hunts, I think I'm gonna film with the big camera a little more, make it a little more cinematic, you know what I mean? Well, the water hole that I wanna do this to here, it has lost a lot of water, a lot more than I figured. I'm hoping uh, this unit will go shallow enough to, uh, to operate here. It'll actually go really, really shallow. I think it'll hold itself like three inches, maybe even less. We'll have to look off the bottom. So, uh, I'm so excited to use this. I've wanted one forever. And for good reason, for this reason right here, check it out. It shrank a little bit. We did a little solo duck hunt, just me and Fred. Actually, it was the teal hunt. That's what it was that me and Fred did here. But she is capped over, let me tell you what. 
Let's go see how thick it is. I bet you it's an inch. Maybe. Had some buddies hunt this morning. They're like, dude, the ice was so thick you had to stand on top of it and push through. Let's hope I don't fall and ruin my camera. That was yeah, it's pretty thick. Let's get out here a little ways. Yeah, what's that? That is. There we go. Yeah, almost an inch. Pretty much right at an inch, just a hair short. So, a lot thicker than I had imagined. Um, especially for just one night getting this cold. I guess it's been cold a few nights, but it's been thawing out every single day. So, I'm gonna try to get her set up out here and then I'll pick up the camera and we're gonna test this bad boy and see how she runs. Well, that was a lot easier than I figured. We got her up and running. I really wish that the water was deeper. Um, check it out here. So this is the situation. Got the little generator going. Got our cord strung out. I about bit it twice now, but here we go. Look how deep it is right here. It's only ankle deep. So if you guys are wondering, I'm sure a lot of you will ask, Bobby, why didn't you put it closer to, to the bank? Uh, can't. I got to get way out here. This is kind of the deepest part of the whole deal. Here we go. The unit is just eating. Look at it. Right here, it's almost half deep. And I got that thing set at the lowest sitting. I can't get it any deeper in the water. I got it at the lowest adjustment. But check it out. It is pushing that water on top of the ice. The sun's out. It is not going to take long to thaw this bad boy out. As you can tell, uh, if I was to guess, this might be a five acre little sheet water pond here. So it is 11.15. I'm gonna go grab me some breakfast. Actually lunch, brunch. <laughs> We're gonna come back, check it out and see what progress has been made. Probably in about an hour. But goodness, I've wanted one of these for so long. Look at her, good, get it. These things are really handy, I'm telling you what. They're really mobile and they will go in very, very shallow water. That's uh, one of their claim to fame is that you can put them in ankle deep water and right there, sure enough, that is awesome. Big shout out to J2 Ice Ripper for sending that bad boy. They are an absolutely awesome unit. But if you guys are wondering what type of generator I'm using, this is a 2000 to 2200 watt max output little generator it's not the biggest you really don't need a big one for the j2 so they said bobby it's good to get an inverter so if you can get an inverter about that size the inverters are really really quiet so if you're wanting to run it at night maybe on a roost pond or something they're really really quiet Whew. it's cold uh it's finally 30 degrees so i'm sure with the water sitting on top of the ice and the sun heating up that water on top of the ice and that bad boy's gonna thaw out really really quickly but i did want to touch on something now that we have some time now that i got everything set up and running a lot of you have been uh sincerely concerned uh about my tongue situation if you guys don't know what i'm talking about i had a biopsy on my tongue it's pretty much healed up but they took a big old chunk out of my tongue uh on an area that was really suspect and suspicious of possibly being cancerous. Now, this is all due to chewing for probably 12, 15 years, chewing tobacco. When I chewed, I always packed it in the same spot, same side, packed it with my tongue on the same area, and it just created some problems. So, um, I appreciate you guys so much being uh, truly concerned about my health because it's a big thing this is a big deal to me it's extremely scary um but i don't have we actually let, let me rephrase i did get some results back uh but they're too wishy-washy right now we we're waiting on something else uh some more information so i don't want to uh speak too soon on anything um but i'm keeping my fingers crossed still uh, i think everybody is my family my friends you guys thank you so much um it's a, it's a life-changing thing just when they cut a piece of your tongue out to test it uh, for something that could possibly affect the rest of your life. And when you have family, kids, and a wife, and, and you guys, my, my job, what I, what I do, you know, 
it's a lot it's a lot to take in and it's really 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 put it in me it's really scared me so thank you guys i want to give you guys a massive thank you for all your support all of your kind words all of your prayers thank you thank you thank you but when i find something out when it's a set in stone hey this is what it is this is what it ain't i will let you guys know first and foremost i promise Well, we are pulling into the field. Got a call, I'm gonna have to wait. Uh, pulling into a field here, ooh, there goes a deer. And we're pulling into a field here. Um, if you guys remember back uh, when it was morel mushroom season. Yes, I came down here by this little creek and I picked morel mushrooms. And what I discovered was Hey, I've never came down here and looked at this creek, but I'm glad I did because it's beautiful. And I have been watching some ducks just drop in here the past few days. Little tip, if you're scouting, if you're hunting, if there's going to be wild game around, don't slam your door. Just a little tip. How, how mad does it make you when your buddy gets out of the truck and just slams the door? You're like, really? We're scouting, man. But uh, I wanted to scout this little creek, see if uh, any ducks are sitting on it and where they might be sitting at. Nothing right here. Hmm. God, it's pretty though, look at it. How pretty is this little creek though? Oh, it wraps around, it bends around that way, and then it bends around that way too. I'm gonna walk around the edge of this creek here, probably, I don't know, half miles worth. Probably a half mile worth and see if I kick up any ducks. That's what you gotta do guys, find your little creek like this, because these little creeks, they don't lock up as easy. They're moving water, you know what I mean? So when everything else is starting to lock up and ducks don't have any of the farm ponds and sheet water to go to overnight and roost on, go to the little creeks like this. I really want to hunt this little creek though. If you guys want to see a hunt on this little creek, drop a comment down below. I'm sure you all do because it would be awesome. Even if we only shot a few, I wouldn't care. Snakes around. And the mallards absolutely love it. Well, here we're at another little be a good little spot to sit at right here it's really really small though could you imagine them getting down in these trees holy smokes they'd have to flip down in here it's so tight still haven't ran into any though i've went a few hundred yards i'll go a couple hundred yards and i'll dive in then i'll go a couple hundred yards and i'll dive in try to spook them up but it might be an evening deal too i may not roost on this creek but you gotta check well, it's been right at about 45 minutes, and uh, check it out. It is just doing work, let me tell you what. Check it out. Opened up a big spot here, so I turned it, and now I'm pushing water over this part of the ice. But she is getting down, I'll tell you what. This is uh, pretty awesome. Kind of get one side cleared out, turn it, turn it again, another part, and just keep turning it. And uh, I'm telling you, in a couple hours, few hours, if I just move this three times, probably once an hour, I could get this whole thing open. But today, I just want a small little hole on the north side of it. We're going to have a north-northwest wind all weekend long. So I want the birds to find it, and then I want to have them keep it open overnight if they're staying on it or whatever. But this is a game changer, boys. Duck season is here. So awesome, so awesome. So awesome to have companies out there just like J2, just like Dive Bond, just like Ducks, just like all these companies uh, that support me. They send me their product and they go, Bobby, I think you can use this, try it out. And uh, they're awesome, man. There's never any stipulations, you know, like, hey, we need this, this, and this from you, thank you, and this, and this. They're just like, Bob, we love what you do, take it. It's nice having good partners for the channel you know what i mean it makes all the difference well i am uh sitting here <laughs> behind some hay bales <laughs> uh watching the pond i uh had to run home and grab something and i came back and i was like hey 
There's a group of ducks diving down on the pond. Hey, there's another one and another one. And I just watched the fourth group of birds go over the top of it. They seen open water. You can tell because uh, there were some groups going over it this morning when it was completely locked up and they weren't even looking at it. They were coming to it because they're used to coming to it. A lot of ducks have been using this, by the way. But they came to it this morning and they just they couldn't land on it, obviously. It was locked up. But these ducks are seeing open water from far away. They're completely getting down two feet over the water and then they're hearing the generator and seeing the motion of the water and they're like, oh, what's that? And they're still curious. It's not that, it's not that they don't even mind the generator, I don't think. I don't think they mind the noise so much. But uh, the pocket of water is so small right now and there's some commotion going on. But oh, here's another th coming back. Well, one thing about this uh, situation is I wish that it was a little deeper. If it was a little deeper, I know that this whole thing would be open, this whole section, this whole part, because I moved it twice. Obviously, our hole's gotten a lot bigger. But if it was deeper, look, two ducks. The ducks want it bad. This is why I came and opened this up. There's been a ton of ducks skimming over the top of it and checking it out. Woo! Well, got her moved. I'm going to let her eat for about another hour and then I'm going to pull it out. Probably by 2, 3 o'clock. Just so I know when the ducks get up and they're wanting to move around, I'll have the generator and the ice heater out of here so they can sit down on it. But I am going to open it up just a hair more. But the main reason, the ultimate main reason, was to get out here to just figure out how this bad boy worked. I'm glad we did because I probably had another 200 ducks want to land on this bad boy just in the last about 10 minutes. But the unit's extremely easy. It's going to be an awesome duck season. I'm already having a ton of fun. I hope you guys are too. I hope you guys are getting out there enjoying it while it's here because you know duck hunting season flies by. It's a lot of fun. We all enjoy it but man it takes forever to get here, but it seems like it goes away so fast. You know what I'm saying? So get out there. Don't contemplate it. Don't think about it. Just get out there. It's not about killing your bag limit every day. It's about getting out there with a couple buddies and making memories, honestly. You only live once, guys, and with this whole scare of cancer going on, it really puts it in perspective. My goal is to enjoy every single day that I have on this planet because you never know when your last is. But I hope you guys are enjoying the channel. If you are, hit that notification bell down there. It'll notify you when your boy uploads. Shout out to my notification gang. Appreciate you guys so much. Remember guys, Halloween sell 15% off. Everything on the DucksWaterfowl.com website. I will link all this gear down in the description below. Go pick something up today and tomorrow, Thursday and Friday, 15% off. Don't forget, subscribe if you haven't, but we will see y'all on the next one. Oh, 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 oh,